What's going on? This is RP Gene. I'm here with Tom and I'm here with Mike. We've had another glorious day here at Fitness Mania and we're going to try and send back. And today's focus is going to be primarily the mid back region. So we're going to stand out with some tea bag rails, get things nice and spicy, and then go from there. As you can see, Tom and I are spreading Fitness Mania sweatshirts, limited edition. But take your time, soak it all in. That's right. particular T-bar rare, if you will, this is called the Humbler. We call it the Humbler because this machine is not made to just stack plates on. Um, the rate ratio is really high on this machine. So if you only put a quarter, you really gotta feel it. You put two quarters, you gotta struggle. One thing I like spotting on this machine, especially if your gym has these kind of plates, there's, I can spot right in here very easily. And when I do a drop set with people, easy off. For me, the key when you're lifting really heavy, whether it's a pressing move, whether it's a squat or a run, is being very consistent from your launch point. So, the last thing I want to do is have too much of that going on, because that's going to really fatigue me. So, once I find a spot, lock in, I'm just going right to that spot every time. Let's go. One, two, last one. Up, do it. Okay. Notice what he's doing at the bottom. He's adding more resistance, allowing him to stretch his back out and get that full contraction. Very, very important right here. In my opinion, there's two body parts. If done correctly, can make you throw up. The number one everybody knows is obviously legs will make you throw up if you exercise them correctly. Number two is back. All right, so we got a quick break into action. I wanted to bring something to you guys' attention with regards to fitness mania. Of course, we got new pieces of equipment here. That's nothing new, but we've completely changed the layout. If you look to the right here, all of this area is now equipment. Nice and organized. You got chest equipment against the wall, and you got back equipment here bordering the aisle, okay? So, you got plenty of space. We should be able to walk down here. I can have clients 
You can do walking lunges in that area, walking lunges in this area. And again, everything's nice and neatly organized. You got your rows here, prime, arsenal, the whole nine. We got some panada down that way. And here we have a complete line of chest pieces all the way down till you get to the leg room. It's pretty awesome. Um, we still have the turf. The turf's upstairs. We won't be going there today. Turf's not part of my back training, but we still have the complete line of, of equipment for stretching, turf, pushing a sled, and all those group training activities that you see here at Fitness Mania. So we didn't lose anything. We just worked a little bit smarter with regards to using our space more efficiently. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Let's get back to the back workout. forward to getting in the gym for a while. Um, previous to this, I've only really seen a hammer strength version, but hammer strength is completely different because you only have an overhand grip. Here, you have a neutral grip, which you can actually adjust in three different ways. And what I really like about this row is the arc of movement. It goes from really high, and you could dump the elbows down really, really low into the lat area. Whereas, previous editions of this kind of machine, you kind of get stuck in here, so you continue to work more upper mid back. But here you can really, really drive those elbows home and engage the lat muscles. Again, great piece of equipment from Panada, and the resistance profile, it will sneak up on you. Again, you go from one plate to two plates, you pull it. I really like the ability to be able to get a stretch all the way at the top. I know there's subtleties here in the exercise that you may not notice, but that little extra stretch at the top is really good for that contraction at the very bottom as well. But for me, I really like to let it just pull me all the way to the top, open up my back, and bring it back in and squeeze really hard. Really good piece. actually the titanic version of this i want to show you guys it's called the i'm flying jack <laughs> This is literally my uh, 
first time getting some working sets with this device. I've used it with my clients and I've used it with lightweight just to try it out. So it's going to be new territory with some real weight on here to see how it functions and see if it catches up to me. So we'll try to go for 12. See what you got, Panada. Oh yeah, it's my personal goal to max out every, every machine in my gym. substantially heavier for sure so while he maxes out with his 300 pound ass I got to do the same weight with my 200 pound ass 215 squeeze oh. Good. Oh. squeeze it hold it down there now Stay here, stay here with your chest. No! Yeah! Three. Yeah! Ah! Two. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ugh. One more. Uh. And ah. drive! Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Oh. Woo! of a nerd and I'm really into the science of training and sometimes I have conflicts between being a meathead and being into the science because science tells me we should be done right the meathead in me says we got to do four sets and it has to be a certain number of, you know reps and all that kind of good stuff so what I tell people if you have this conflict because most guys started training because they loved it, right? And it's kind of hard to get that, that feeling of more is better. So what I tell people is, get your work done with a scientific approach. And if you got something left after the fact, then you can come back and get some additional work. And as long as you're feeding your body the proper nutrients, you're not gonna overtrain. So basically, we just did three plates, that would be more than enough for, to promote hypertrophy. So now we're just gonna chase a little bit of a pump, okay? So we're gonna cut it down to a plate and a quarter, and we're gonna go for 30 reps. Completely different mentality. So that was it's pretty rough, man. Lifting heavy is not easy, but it's over quick. When you feel in the burn and you still got like 15 reps left, that does something completely different to your mind than when you're lifting heavy and you gotta do two more. I'm not gonna say which is worse because <laughs> I might be biased because I just finished this set. Whew.
So we're actually finishing with something I, uh, I predominantly start with for my back workout. We start with finishing with some cable pullovers. Um, again, I usually start a workout with this because it takes the biceps out of the movement, puts a lot of blood into the lats. Today, because we had an objective of kind of ignoring the lats, we went right to the T-bar rows. And again, the meathead in us is taking over. For the most part, the workout's done, but we just wanted to get a few more sets in to feel like we did our old fashioned four, four exercises and four sets. So um, pullovers are great for putting a little bit of width into the lats and also working the lats. If you're a person that's really, really arm dominant on your back movements, pre-exhausting the lats with pullovers is a great way to help you with that connection. Um, thanks for tuning in. We got a great back session today. Um, a little bit more behind the scenes chatter, a little guy talk today than usual, but uh, great back workout. We got the humbler, got a couple of nice pieces from Panada, and uh, we also finished with some uh, pullovers. Um, it was intense, but again, it was uh, more of a reunion of sorts. We haven't trained in a while. Um, and again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the new layout of Fitness Mania. And uh, thanks for Tom and, and Mike, once again, for always putting up with me and uh, my training.